Hello there, so uh, I'm carrying on with this battery pack, 24 volt, 20 amp power. So we've got everything seriesed up. I'm me saying it will like a concertina, that everything hinges all the way around. It'd be cool to get them in, in this, wouldn't it, like that? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Looks like a motor. Right, so anyway, they all straighten up like a big long snake to give you the pack I've been showing you throughout the video. They're all seriesed up. You didn't need to see me soldering all them together because you get the idea. So now I'm going to put the negative of the balance connector on just to show you how I do that and then I'll, I'll get again I'll do all the others and then I'll uh, show me show me sticking it to the timber and just finishing her off because there's no point you watching me soldering all these balance leads on the ogle on the same okay Tabs down, I wanted them on the left, so the pack's gonna have to go. Yep. It's alright, bear with me, just trying to work out what I'm doing here. And, um, yeah, top side, I want it on the top side, so I'm gonna put them on there. Alright, so that's gonna be going down there. Fix it all in with a bit of a glue gun later, and then we'll link across from that pin over to this pin so that we've got a little bit of uh, uh, an easier route for the current so it spreads it over a bigger area. I don't just want it coming here and constantly running through these top cells, so I'm going to fix it here and fix it here. So I'll have a little blob of magic on there. I've given this a clean already with some uh, alcohol wipes, and we'll have a little blob of magic on there. So the first one I'm just going to put up here, on the top. He says, come on. There he goes. And then, just have to measure off a little of this to use as a bridge piece. I'll leave a generous tail. So we're going to link from that pin <coughs> up to this top one. So that's slightly generous, don't mind that. Uh, I've got these kind of cable strippers, they're alright. They don't seem to work when the going gets tough and you're into thick stuff, or if it's very, very thin. But uh, I suppose you can say that for all of them. Just make sure you tin these, whenever you do your connectors, make sure you tin them up. Did you see me then? I dipped in the flux first, just give it a little bit of a, a dip in there. If you can be bothered, you don't have to, it's, there's enough flux in your solder. And then just tin, this is called tinning up, you just run a little bit of solder onto this connector here. I'd like to see it, see how it's running along. Oh, that's a crap one, I've got a little beast hanging out here. There we go, that's better. And then same on the other end, and that's just called tinning up. It just makes your connections a lot easier, they take a lot better. So I'll offer that up. It's looking good. I'm going to trim that a little bit. And I'm going to fix this bottom one first. nice and then the top one just connects in with the existing I right. I've made a terrible job of that I'm nervous I saw it I need a bit more uh, solder on the iron there you go that's a better job right so you get the idea that's what I'm doing on my balance leads and they'll be at every point where there's the hinges so there'll be one at the bottom, that'll be the first negative, and then there'll be one in there, that'll be one, two, three, four, five, and then six will be connected up at the top. So you'll get your negative plus one, two, three, four, five, six, so you get your six, six balance cells with your seven balance leads. And you know what it looks like, because I showed you in the last one. So, oh, there go the uh, wire cutters. 
So I've finished putting all the balance cables on and then the next time you see it we'll be sticking it to a piece of timber and uh, just firming it all up and double checking all the connections. We get the multimeter out, check everything's good. And then uh, what I might do actually before we do that, before I fix it to timber, because I did tell you the other day that it's a pain to charge all these with, balance, with this little charger, it takes ages. So I might put a bit in each pack, well I can still open it up like this. Just use some magnets and charge each pack up a little bit, just so it's got less work to do overall. And it can handle these little chunks. So, uh, right, that's it for this one. Part four will be finishing the job off, hopefully. Um, this is the second one I've made, so only one more to go and then I'm in. And just to show you why we're doing all this, if any, you haven't seen any of the other videos, this is the bike, this triangle is going to have a battery box inside it and these things are going to be running along the down pipe here on the down tube. We'll have three of them in there, which will give me uh, 72 volts, 20 amp power. We'll see how that goes. Okay, till next time.